my day just digging guys can you guys see me because i can see you guys mm, come and join me mm, my mouth is watering mm. memory lane this is taking me to memory lane right now <laughs> So this is one of my favorite recipe in fact i'll tell you my favorite those years back 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 te, 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 te back like te, te mean long 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 time ago like the longest time ago when i used to live with my grandmother me her so rest in perfect peace this is one of the recipe she normally make when and i used to enjoy it so 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 much so so much and i'll be bringing a lot of recipe uh, my grandmother used to make those days when I used to live with her when I was young before I started, you know, fighting for life. How is it fighting for life? How to make it on life? You know what I mean, guys. So I'll be sharing the recipe with you guys here. And uh, yes, that's what we're gonna do. I've been craving for this recipe for the past. I don't know. I have this habit when I'm talking, I don't look at the camera. I look here. I don't know. You guys help me. Okay, I'll try to be here. So this recipe, Aladayo, can you be quiet? I'm doing video in Discover Me. This me. This recipe, I've been just shut it down me. Oh my days. So this recipe, I've been craving for it since last week. And guess what, guys? Let me bring this for you guys to see. So this is the fish I'll be using. You guys, tell me, you are not craving for this fish right now. This is mackerel, and we know we call it Titus back in Nigeria. And Bene people call it Akpokun. Akpokun, yes. Uh, my grandmother, my mom's mom is from Bene, right, guys? Right. So, uh, so Bene people call it Akpokun. Nigeria, Yoruba people call it Titus. Uh, Oyimbo people call it mackerel so what i did i bought this mackerel i bought it fresh and i grill it and i remember those days when my grandmother wants to make it he normally buy oh she normally buy the smoked one smoked so um you know the smoke one they have it here but i don't really agree with it and sometimes it's really expensive so i prefer to buy fresh one wash season it myself and grill it and what season did i put in here I just add just salt salt that is it because I remember those days it's just salt they use and I've tried to add uh, aromant chicken maggi all the seasoning cube just to grill it apart it was so salty I didn't really enjoy it but I um, now came across no and now did it again some time ago I just add salt and it grill the way it grill or it oven it was just so sweet with the salt the flavor was out when you use maggi it not if you you it will bring another flavor out if you are kind of personal yam like you've lived back home and you know mackerel the grill one the way it tastes you will not enjoy it when you add maggi all this oimbo seasoning no 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 just add salt simple and grill it and you enjoy it more so i've grilled that and that is aside and this is my banga can you guys see yeah back home we don't use the one in a can is it a can or tin we normally um use the fresh one we boil it when it's soft we rather pam it pam 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 and we squeeze it uh, oh, we add water, we squeeze it, and we sift it, and we use But because the country where we are, we cannot find the fresh one. Well, they don't sell it here. If you live in any country in EU, and you can get it, shout out to you. Lucky you. So, I bought this. And these are the seasoning I'll be using. I'm going to show you guys everything here. So, I'm going to... I shouldn't use this, right, guys? I shouldn't use it, but I will use it. Because when my grandmother is making it, she doesn't use all this ceremony stuff. So this is, you guys can see it's paprika, but it's not paprika. This is black pepper. It was actually in here because uh, the black pepper container is not good for me. I'm not feeling it, right, guys? Yeah, so I empty it inside this paprika bottle. So it's black pepper, and it smells so good. And I remember, I don't want to sneeze. 
can you see it's black and i remember those days when my grandmother is cooking it she always used black pepper and uh we use a scotch bonnet and uh, well we don't use sweet red long pepper there's another pepper we use but trust me guys they don't have that pepper in this country and i have onions we don't use this onions we use the red onions which like the purple color but i just want to use this you know what i mean guys i believe it will taste the same and i brought garlic and ginger and i remember my grandmother one thing she hates she doesn't like garlic she cannot stand garlic or ginger <laughs> so i'm not gonna be using it okay i'm gonna take it out take it out take it out okay so i'm going to be using my food processor to blend the pepper and this is my food processor i bought this in lidl the other day i used to have one old one i bought in agos not old yeah it's old because i bought it about four or five years ago is it four five no, no 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 about six years ago i remember i had it before i had my son so it's about six six seven years ago i had it so there was a time i was making recipes to janet Ubedi's channel and then um it just dropped yes that's what i go through behind the scene a lot is to happen when we are doing recipe it's just what we want you guys to see we normally show you guys it dropped when i was making a recipe into janet Obedi's channel and it just break and that was it so when i got i went to lady the other day about three four weeks ago i came across this and i bought it so i'll be using it uh if you are following me on janet Obedi's channel you would have seen me using this for most of my recipe these days oh my days i use it and it's really good because it's just like it's just like a bowl you know how much did i buy it um i think less than 20 pounds yeah less than but i think it's more than 10 pounds i can't really remember the amount amount so i'm gonna wash my pepper and i'm gonna put it here and we're gonna blend okay guys let me zoom it forward so you guys can see so guys i've um washed my pepper take out the seed and dice but this one scotch bonnet i didn't take out the seed and i want to blend one because i think if i use two it to be too spicy so i'm going to just blend one and then we'll see and the onions i show you guys the onions is too big so i only use half of it okay i'm just craving for this recipe since last week but i've not had time you know i've been working busy with work busy with other things by the time i finish i just normally say never mind but because today is friday friday i love friday no work i just bring the kids from school i just finish my school runs and i want to eat what my body is desiring me right now. <laughs> okay so i'm going to blend that so guys my grandmother used tomato as well <laughs> i forgot but it's not like i forgot i didn't know that i have it at home hmm how can i say it i don't know but yeah listen guys my grandmother used tomatoes listen guys my grandmother normally use fresh tomatoes most of the time when it's not tomato season and tomato is very expensive we just use pepper okay but when tomato is you know around we just the reason why i use tomato is just to make it thick give it more richness i believe that's what they think those days even now right guys right so i'm going to be blending that as fresh tomato and this is what i'm doing using food processor and blend those days there's no food pro food processor food processor because it was actually in the village so we use like a stone ping ping that we put the pepper and we blend like this so this what i'm is taking me maybe like few seconds a few minutes to blend if i want to do it the old in this way it's going to actually take me maybe like 10 to 15 minutes yeah because you have to blend this and make sure it's smooth when they are what they want to make stew like the, i don't know whether it's stew or call it or soup they normally make sure that the pepper and the tomato and the onion they are blending they blend it very very smooth okay that's finished blending just get okay guys i've opened my banga i'm going to put it in the pot 
and the reason why i'm doing it like this is because there's always sand i don't know why there's always sand i remember there was a time i make a banga jollof and i did not you know i did not jazz by then <laughs> i did not notice take notice of it and all my banga jollof were so ah uh, when we're biting it we could bite sand it was really it was so annoying and the banga was the, the banga jollof rice was so delicious and we, we eat it anyway we didn't throw it we eat it but i learned from that that anytime i want to cook it i'm going to warm it first because of the weather that's why it's thick like this so i'll be adding more water and after it's nice and settled i'm going to make sure everything is nice and warm and when it's settled i'm going to now sift it there was so much sand i don't know whether this one will not have sand i don't know okay guys so this is the pot i'm going to use so we are going to sift it So can you guys see that can you guys see yeah because of that okay okay so now i'm going to add the pepper and the onions and the one tomato we blend Let me rinse it. Nothing is going to waste, guys. Okay. I'm going to close that to boil for about 10 15 minutes. Okay, guys this is about 20 minutes later not 15 minutes so as you guys can see it's boiling nicely so I'm going to add my chicken no those days we don't use chicken no we use Maggi Ah, the smell it smells so good you know that natural smell it smells so 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 good and let me taste it mm -mm -mm. it's still lack of seasoning so I'll be adding my aromat I'll be adding my black pepper normally we don't have the uh, grounded one we normally use uh the whole one when we are blending the tomatoes we blend it with it mm. Mm -mm. Mm, delicious now what i'm going to do i'm going to add the fish normally i'm not really fond of fish head much sometimes but with this recipe, you need this fish head. Trust me. Can you guys see? It's bringing out the oil itself. Can you guys see? I didn't add any oil though. I did not. I'm going to add all the fish. Or should I leave some? <laughs> so I'm going to close this to cook about 15 minutes and guys how can I forget this is prawns this is fresh prawns I bought I clean it myself and I keep it in the freezer and it was actually blocked so i put it in the microwave to defrost that's why half of it is kind of cooked 
so we are going to add it to our banga is on the cooker cooking already for the past 15 minutes now and i didn't mention it earlier i'm also making a widu okay guys we're having a widu with banga and eba okay let me add the prawns So now I'm going to close this for about five minutes because I don't want the prawn to overcook. Okay, guys, and then to be ready. So the prawn's sweetness, you know, you know, ooh la la, <laughs> ooh la la, mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, now let's go and make our eba. So guys, I'm going to be making a bag. This is my gari. Can you guys see? And this eba is for my kids and I. To be enough let me see this for that one that one for that one that one for mommy yeah it should be okay normally we have it with eba or two but today i'm gonna have eba because i don't have to and you guys don't mind my pepper i'm just getting ready for my next recipe with jenna to beige that's why i have this over here and my apple cider vinegar everybody have it in their kitchen right right Okay, our eba is doing well, and now I think we should check on our stew. We don't want it to be overcooked. I don't like hard eba. So is my kids. My eba have to, any solid, any swallow. I don't like it too hard. I like it very, very, very soft. So I'm going to be adding more boiled water and I'm going to actually heat this on the cooker for about one to two minutes before it will be ready. Sometimes I make it in the microwave. If I make the eba in the plastic, I'll put it in the microwave for about three to four minutes and I'll miss it and then it will be ready. But because I make it in a pot, I'll be putting it on the cooker. Okay, the eba is done. So guys, we normally add a roux, which we call a fin thing. Can you guys see? Well, okay, so I'm going to use a fin thing, which we know as iru, iru pete. And this sent to me by my mother-in-law. So my grandmother used to use this, you know, just to give it a lovely flavor. So I'm going to make sure I mash everything. And this is the way to uh, what I did. I add a little bit of okra when I was blending it so that it will draw. Because back in Africa, we normally put corn, you know. So now I'm going to. So normally, what they do, they will just add a little bit of salt. But instead of me adding salt, I'll be adding aromat that much. I'm going to miss, 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 Mmm, it smells so good. Oh my days. Okay. That's done. And that is the egg bath there. So that is my banga. Can you guys see? Oh my days. Oh. You guys, I wish you were here to smell it. Mmm. So, that's ready. I'm going to take it out from the cooker. Okay, I'm going to miss the eba here. I'm going to add more water because it's still a bit hard for me. I like my solids to be very, very soft so that I can be able to swallow it. 
okay that is it so guys can you guys see my grandmother favorite recipe ooh, 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 ooh. oh my days just digging guys can you guys see me because i can see you guys mm, come and join me oh mm, my mouth is watching Mm. Memory lane. This is taking me to memory lane right now. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Oh, yeah, me. Mm. Memory lane. This is my childhood food. My mm. man. Mm. 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 So good, guys. Do you guys have a problem? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Let's try the fish. Can you guys see the fish? Mm. Mm. And to tell you guys, we also use okra. Not only we do. Okay. Mm. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. Cook with me and eat with me. I like like cook with me and taste it with me. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, guys. If you are new to my channel, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to see what I'll be making next. Mm.